95. You are watching WCMH-TV, Columbus, Ohio. This is News Watch 4 with Doug Adair, Mona Scott, Angela Pace, meteorologist Jim Goodall, and the Dean of Central Ohio Sportscasters, Jimmy Crum. Good evening, everyone. For all anyone seems to know, 27-year-old Benito... Take that any way you want. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being with us. <laughs> Good night. Be a part of the Newswatch 4 team. When you see news happen, call our news line on your Ameritech mobile phone by pressing star 4 send. The call is free to Ameritech mobile subscribers. USYX Channel 6 Columbus. And now, Michelle Galia. Lou Forrest. Meteorologist Larry Cosgrove and Steve Minnick on sports. This is Channel 6 News. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, the big job in Northern California is trying to find survivors. I'm on tears. Tonight at 11.30 on Channel 6. Join us on Entertainment Tonight. This evening at 7.30. This is your 24-hour news source. <laughs> This is New Center 7's first edition for November 8th, 1990. Police say he has a history of mental problems and a background of problems with the police. And yet this man, described as a walking time bomb, was armed and confronted police today. We were on the scene and we'll have a report. More Ohio troops are on their way to the Middle East. Family members gave them a tearful send-off today at Wright Pat. And tonight's forecast will be a cold one. Can you say 26? Tonight's forecast and the day's news ahead on New Center's first edition. Live from the award-winning Miami Valley News Leader, the latest news with Ken Jefferson and Cheryl McHenry, Ted Ryan's AccuWeather, and sports with Mike Hartsock. Now, New Center 7's first edition. Good evening. Police say a man with mental problems, armed with a shotgun, threatened officers and citizens... Today. ...oldest night of this season. That's all coming up tonight at 11, now to CBS. Two more tank divisions to be sent to Saudi Arabia. Incumbents dominate election 1990. And riots in Israel over the assassination of Rabbi Kahana. This is the CBS Evening News. Dan Rather reporting tonight from CBS News Election Headquarters in New York. Good evening. CBS News has learned. Newswatch 4 is closed captioned for the hearing impaired. This is WCMH-TV, Columbus, Ohio. Live from Newswatch 4, a special 11 p.m. edition with Doug Adair and Angela Fitz. America at War. I would like to thank... ...is now behind us. Ahead of us is the difficult task of securing a potentially historic peace. President Bush declares victory and a temporary and ceasefire in the Gulf Iraq. War. Earlier, in the desert of southern Iraq, Allied forces won the biggest tank battle since the Second World War. This is NBC News at sunrise. Good morning, everyone. I'm Margaret Larson. The message flashed in New York City's Times Square said it all. There may be some mopping up yet to do on the battlefield and on the diplomatic front, but for all intents and purposes, the war in the Gulf has ended. For at sunrise is closed captioned for the hearing impaired. This is Newswatch 4 at sunrise. Central Ohio's news leader with Tom Campbell and meteorologist Fred Atkins. Well, good morning. This is Thursday, February the 28th, the last day of this short month. A day to remember in many parts of the world. We'll be talking to Paoli Lacey in a few minutes. She is more news. Have a nice morning. Drive safe.
News Watch 4, your first source for news from the Persian Gulf. Good morning. The shooting has stopped. Iraq has accepted all UN resolutions. The war in the Gulf is over, and relative peace prevails today, Thursday, February the 28th, 1991. From NBC News, this is Today with Bryce Gumbel, Deborah Norville, and Joe Garagiola. Good morning, and welcome to Today on a Thursday morning, last day of, of February. Smiles all around. Oh, all over. Great day today. It really Great is. Great day. Really Everybody's very happy. It, uh, it certainly does look like V-Day in the Middle East, and it was a long time coming. Thankfully, shorter than... What First at 10, this is Carolina's Fox 21. The news begins now. South Carolina is asking corporations to help clean up a messy situation. And as the wing ding winds down, the Palmetto Expo Center is wondering if it'll be around the next time riders want to rally. Plus, deputies say Greenville County is on the road to having safer streets. Good evening. I'm Maitika Milanis. Cree is off tonight. And I'm Connie Legrand. First on Fox, Greenville County continues to keep streets safe for all of us. Connie Legrand. Cree Craig. Mike Harvey with the weather. And Keith Skripik on sports. You're watching the Fox 21 10 o'clock news. 33 young ladies are competing in Spartanburg for the title of Miss Teen South Carolina. Carolina's children and adults. Now a state award puts her in a class all her own. News Channel 7 at 11, putting South Carolina first. Thunderstorms cut a path through the upstate, uprooting trees and downing power lines. And at least two people are dead because of the storm. Good evening, I'm Terry Gruca. Our top story tonight, find out next. Some of the worst rioting in one country's history. We'll show you why parts of Britain are cleaning up tonight. At four on News Channel 7. If you're watching News Channel 7 over the air, we certainly hope your picture is looking a whole lot better. That's because we're broadcasting with a new state-of-the-art antenna from a new, taller tower, sending out a clearer picture over the air. Our digital channel, WSPA-DT, is also broadcasting from the new tower. Now, the best digital TV in South Carolina just got better. News Channel 7's new tower and antenna are bringing you better pictures. That's one more way News Channel 7 is putting South Carolina first. <laughs> You're watching WYFF, Greenville, Spartanburg, Asheville, Anderson. Now, live, local, breaking news from the home of Sky 4. This is WYFF News 4. Flight attendants say it's a dangerous problem that's happening more and more often. Stopping air raids is the top story at 530 on WYFF News 4. Good evening, I'm Tim Waller. And I'm Sharon Johnson. Thanks for being here with us. The nation's flight attendants are giving airlines a failing... You're watching WYFF News 4 at 5.30. Live, local, breaking news with Tim Waller, Sharon Johnson, Chief Meteorologist John Sesserich, and sports with Jeff Hart. This is WYFF News 4. Literally. You're watching WYFF, Greenville, Spartanburg, Asheville, Anderson. Now, live, local, breaking news from the home of Sky 4. This is WYFF News 4. Maybe some of them were afraid that if they came, there wouldn't be anything here. Approach helps give them strength. You're watching WYFF News 4 at 6. Live local breaking news with Carol Goldsmith, Michael Contill, Chief Meteorologist John Setzerich, and Sports with Jeff Hart. This is WYFF News 4. You're watching Emmy Award-winning WYFF News 4, the Upstate's most honored news station, setting the standard for television excellence. Welcome back, everyone. It is the first technology... Now, News 4 Sports with Jeff Hart. And finally, qualifying...
start this 5 o'clock hour breaking news. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dave Kaler. And I'm Andrea Cameron. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Tonight, we have learned of a major crime ring busted up in the city of Gahanna. Today, the First Lady came to Athens, Ohio, to campaign and talk about education. Money problems for a Central Ohio school district. You're watching 10 TVI Witness News with Dave Kaler. Andrea Camburn, and Chief Meteorologist Mike Davis. This is WBNS-TV, your number one source for news. Closed captioning is brought to you by Doctors Hospital and Franklin University's new personalized major program. From Central Ohio's number one source for news, this is 10TV Eyewitness News. A judge leaves his bench to go to a condemned building to determine who owns that building. You're watching 10 TV Eyewitness News with Angela Pace and Dave Kaler, Chief Meteorologist Mike Davis, and Mike Gleason Sports. This is WBNS-TV, your number one source for news. Closed captioning is brought to you by Doctors Hospital and Franklin University's new personalized major program. news tonight from the world of entertainment. Fox 2 has just... News just seconds away. Claire Ross with Frank Turner, Carolyn Clifford, Mary Kay Kleist with Weather, and Sports with Dave Llewellyn. I wasn't really concerned about what he had to say. Now, here's a look at what's ahead on Action News at 11. March 15th. You're watching WGN Morning News at 7. A dangerous building is causing... Bruce, watch Wheel for Details. Weeknights at 7 on Television 7. Xenia students take to the streets. They say no levy, no school. And here's something you may never have seen before in a hospital. It is dog therapy, and we'll show you how it works. Live from the award-winning Miami Valley News Leader, Up to the Minute News with Jim Baldridge and Deborah Caldas, AccuWeather with Dave Freeman, and Sports with Mike Hartsock. Now, News Center 7 at 6. Good evening. One day after the election. Coming up next on WAND News at 6, the federal government is asking Firestone to recall several million more Firestone tires. I'm Chris Medeiros. I'll have the latest in a live report. Also ahead tonight at 6, Chandra Levy isn't the only missing person police are looking for. We'll update the search for a University of Illinois student missing for nearly eight months. And see how a special summer camp is teaching some Central Illinois teenagers lessons that will last a lifetime. These stories plus the forecast in sports, WAND News at 6 starts now. Live, local, late breaking. You're watching WAND News at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Firestone is being pressured tonight. Live, local, late breaking. You're watching WAND News at 6 with Melanie Cook, Sean Streety, Joe Bauer, and Ron Rector. A new government study on children's health shows national improvement in several key areas. Team From Central Illinois News Leader, this is 3 News at 6. This is Channel 6 for the Heartland, WOWC Omaha. Now, this is the Channel 6 News, live at 5. Police tape marks the spot of a senseless act of violence. One Heartland teenager is dead, another is in jail, accused of murder. From the Channel 6 Newsroom, the Heartland's news source, I'm Gary Kerr. And I'm Tracy Madden, in for Pat Persaud. Happening live at 5, a tragic scene. You're watching the Heartland's news source with Gary Kerr. Pat Persaud. Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jim Flowers. And good news with Courtney Garish. This is the Channel 6 News, live at 5.
You want a car that's exciting and sporty, but you want a great value. Money back guarantee. Don't miss 90s Rule Elimination at the all-new Freeway Ford Lincoln Mercury, 10 minutes from Little Rock. From Arkansas's very own KTHV. This is 11 Action News. A Little Rock group rallies to stop teen violence before it happens. As Republicans gather for their convention, more questions surface about the president's health. And Republicans on either side of the abortion issue square off in Houston. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Terrell. Thanks for joining us. The Republicans' top brass say the abortion issue is no problem, and its position... <laughs> Eleven Action News, brought to you in part by Schuster's Home Furnishings, Little Rock, North Little Rock, and Pine Bluff. The August in Arkansas weather is brought to you by Southwestern Bell Yellow Pages, where people get what they want. And if you see news happening, call us at 376-NEWS. 16-hour we love you, Arkansas. You're good people. You're friendly people. Hard-working people. Oh, Arkansas. We love you. We love you, Arkansas. Your pretty places. See Brooke Shields in Sahara Sunday morning at 8 on KTHB. News at 6.30. From the coast to the valley to the Cascades, this is KEZI News at 6.30. When the big one hits Lane County, will your kids be ready? This is assuming, of course, there ever is a big earthquake in Oregon's future. But seriously... <laughs> A cowboy gets the ride of his life doing a rodeo in Idaho. He's tossed around like a rag doll. We'll tell you what kind of shape he's in. And a kayaker finds a body along the Kern River. We'll tell you if it's one of three Oildale folks missing for two weeks. Next on Fox News at 10. You're watching KBFX Fox 58. This is Fox News at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Meyer. And I'm Ralph Bailey, topping our news at 10. Well, at least some of the waiting and wondering is over for family and friends of a missing trio from Oildale. A kayaker found the body of one of the three along the Kern River this afternoon. Authorities confirm the body is that of 33-year-old Brett Schaefer. He's shown here with his 7-year-old... Plus, Lindsay, the latest... Security at the airport, just how safe are you? Seconds ahead, 62 CBS News takes you on a revealing investigation. See firsthand what happens inside 12 different airports in one day. Plus a big fuss over this bird. Why is this local man crying foul? 62 CBS News at 11 starts right now. This is 62 CBS News special coverage. America fights back. <laughs> Long lines and tighter security. Tonight, a 62 CBS Airport safety reality check. We'll fly you through the country's busiest airports for a first-hand look at security. And from the front lines, closing in on Osama bin Laden. We're hunting him down. The noose is beginning to narrow. Good evening, I'm Rich Fisher along with Amira Makepson. Well, tonight, the Pentagon puts a price on Osama bin Laden's head. $25 million off. From the NBC 26 Weather Command Center, here's tomorrow's first forecast. 
Good evening, everyone. I'm NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, live in the Weather Garden with Valley. NBC 26 at 6 starts right now. You're watching the Emmy Award winning NBC 26 at 6. If I raised my son to stand up for what he believed in, what kind of mother would I be if I didn't do it for him at the time of his death? Emotions spill out of the courtroom after a judge rules on the manner of death in the shooting of Ray Sherman II. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Stacey Angabretzen, live in the Fox Valley. I'm Bob Healy, live in Green Bay. A year-long battle for a Packer coach and his family is finally over. NBC 26 anchor Valerie Johnson. And in the NBC 26 weather garden, I had planned on planting some peas earlier this morning, but the ground was too soaked from last night's rainfall. If you have plans to plant this weekend, it's not looking all that promising. I'll have your puddle producing forecast coming up in just a minute. At the heart to heart. You're watching NBC 26 at 6 with Bob Healy and Valerie Lego live in Green Bay and Stacey Engelbretson live from the Fox Valley. Heavy rain is causing more trouble in parts of Fond du Lac tonight. County water restrictions set. Thank you for watching the Emmy Award winning NBC 26 at 6. When you're going places and see news happen, call the NBC 26 News Hotline at 490-2600 or contact us by dialing pound 26 from your U.S. cellular phone. By or least the Watch the 10 o'clock report tonight on News Channel 14. This is KGWC News Channel 14 at 10 with Greg Flatiger, Chris Emig with weather, and Josh Earl with sports. News Channel 14 at 10 starts now. Good evening, I'm Greg Flatiger. Thank you for joining us. Governor Dave Friedenthal is among a host of dignitaries speaking to a statewide conference on school safety in Casper this week. About 100 people are attending the session. The next, just shoot Weekdays me. at 11.30 on Wyoming's Fox TV. Should I be worried that I'm not home and you're here alone with another man? John? The word ew, in a sense. Weeknights at 9.30 on Wyoming's Fox TV. Drew's Red... Tonight on INN News, an American journalist freed in Iraq. And new reports surface regarding New Jersey Governor James McGreevy. Plus, how Olympic athletes are beating the heat in Athens. And in sports, Nextel Cup drivers battle it out as the chase for the championship looms. I'm Melissa Scott. Welcome to INN News. The standoff continues in Najaf between U.S. troops and Iraqi rebels loyal to radical cleric Muqtada al-Sadr. At least 10 explosions rocked the area near the Imam Ali Mosque that rebels have taken over. News. You're watching the PAX News at 6.30 on KYBX Little Rock. You know that the direct TV signal remains uninterrupted. 28-year-old homicide of a Garland County 27th. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to KRK 4 News at 6 o'clock this evening. I'm Denise Whitaker. Hello and good evening. I'm Bob Clawson. It is a 28-year-old murder case, and it is being brought... From KARK 4, with Denise Whitaker and Bob Clawson. This is KARK 4 News at 6. The price tag to study duck migration stands at $250,000. So Buy and Wendy's. You're watching KARK4 News, honored with two National Edward R. Murrow Awards for journalistic excellence. Similar experiences bring 35... I remember every kid on the block had that poster, too. Yes, Hang Mark Spitz. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll be back tonight after the Olympics. What it's diet, what she told Kojo about junk food. This race will. You're watching the Color 8 News at 6. No running, but still plenty of swimming at Athletic Pool. We'll show you what saved the day. 
Miss those summer nights taking in a double feature at the drive-in? They're coming back to Yellowstone County. And we'll introduce you to what you might call the core of rediscovery. Good evening, I'm Gus Koenig. Orlinda Worthington will join us in a few minutes. More than a few Billings folks are floating what looks like a successful plan to keep Athletic Pool open. We can go real deep. I like to go down that. To go down that. It's really fun. It's so important for the young people of our community to have this exercise. News at 6 continues. You're watching the Color 8 News at 6 with Orlinda Worthington, Gus Koenig, Chris Byers on sports, and Ed McIntosh with weather. Seed are still play their fourth round matches today. They'll play in the quarters tomorrow. Carlina Sprem is a player who beat uh, Venus Williams earlier, wasn't she? That's right. And she uh, is unseated and made a nice little run today until she ran into Lindsay Ooh, at the big shots. Big game. Mm -hmm. Big game. Right back. Color 8 closed captioning is brought to you in part by Raider Hearing Clinic. Furniture Outlet has... Live from WDAZ, your home team. This is WDAZ News at 10. Tonight, new documents show that Altru Hospital will take a larger role in the UND Family Practice Center. Find out why local business owners say strip malls and so-called power centers are bringing more people to Grand Forks. And the Army is calling back thousands of retired and discharged soldiers for possible duty overseas. I'm Stephanie Byrell. I'll talk to a local soldier who's being recalled coming up. Good evening, All True Health System will play an expanded role in the UND Family Practice Center starting tomorrow. Well, six family practice doctors who just a few... Crosspire Summer Theater. It's a wonderful show. Your home team news continues live with Cassie Walder, Milo Smith, meteorologist John Wheeler, and Pat Sweeney Sports. Lorilla always wanted to own his own home, but because he was disabled and Country Tunes of Julie Robbins. Your local news is next. White vehicle left center lane approaching 72. Another SUV approaching in the right lane, 76 miles. Speeders through Minnesota now have another reason to watch out. That story ahead. News 11 at 10 starts now. Speeders beware, the Minnesota State Patrol plans a crackdown on speeding. Good evening, thank you for joining us. Minnesota troopers are about to step up their patrols for speeders. The enforcement will take place unannounced during the first... You are watching the Valley's Choice for local news. KVLY News 11 with Robin Hubner, Darren Selving, Chief Meteorologist Tom Shemansky, and Sports Director Scott Peters. Tonight's news is brought to you by Zimmerman's Furniture. We really do sell for less every day. A typical full size. Seven states vote in one day. Complete coverage of these crucial races tomorrow. Experience CBS News. Good evening and thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Randy Shaw. And I'm Nadine Woodward. Next on Crimson News at 6. This is what at least five people in the same neighborhood woke up to this morning. I'm Chrissy Gordon. I'll have the details. The missing girl who triggered Washington's first Amber Alert is still missing one year later. We'll have the latest on her investigation. They used to be cute little cubs, but now these big grizzly bears are at the heart of a groundbreaking study. Coverage you can count on. Crem 2 News at 6 starts now. Car windows smashed in, belongings stolen. That's what nearly a dozen people in this South Spokane neighborhood woke up to this morning. I do feel violated, and I, we are very upset. Now victims want to warn you not to park your vehicle on the street. Well, neighbors believe the same suspect hit at least nine vehicles in a three-block area on Spokane South Hill early this morning. Crimson's Christy Gorson joins us live at the latest on the investigation. That's tonight's top story.
will vary. Krem 2 is part of Belo. From coast to coast, Belo Media Company share the highest standards of journalism and community service. Listed on the New York Stock Exchange as BLC. Gotta get to the crumb. Coverage you can count on with Randy Shaw, Nadine Woodward, Tom Sherry's Storm Tracker 2 forecast, and Tom Hudson Sports. This is Krem 2 News at 6. Researchers at Washington State University are hoping a pair of sleeping grizzly bears will unlock secrets about heart disease. Crimson's Eric. Firefighters protest after one of their own is let go. But first, a local man accused of a brutal rape strikes a plea agreement. With complete news coverage for the Inland Northwest, Fox 28 News, first at 10 starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Linda Stratton. One of Spokane's most brutal rapists pleaded guilty today. 26-year-old Nathan A. Merritt was supposed to go on trial today, but instead he admitted to be... Don't miss the great shows on Fox 28 Daytime. Watch one of America's favorite game shows, Family Feud. We're ready to play the feud. Ever wish for a second chance? Watch Starting Over, the show where women actually get a chance to turn their lives around. Then it's three hours of unstoppable men. Montel Williams continues tackling the real issues at 11, followed by the clever sleuth Perry Mason and one of the toughest judges around on Texas Justice. Watch weekdays starting at 9 a.m. on Fox 28. We were just sitting at the dinner table having dinner. I made ribs. Live from Spokane, KAYU presents Fox 28 News First at 10 with Linda Stratton and Education with Dan Garrity. Now, this is Fox 28 News First at 10. Well, it doesn't look like this season's harsh winter will offer us any relief anytime soon. That put him in temperature. <laughs> most up-to-date midday newscast. This is Fox News 1230 with Linda Cheek Heinrich, Jose Grignan, and Matt Levine with weather. At least 19 people are now known dead in the truck bombing of an American military housing complex in Saudi Arabia. I ask every American to take a moment today to say a prayer for the victims and their families and to rededicate ourselves to the fight against terrorism. And President Clinton takes a hard line in the wake of the bombing. Good afternoon. U.S. flags around the world are ordered to fly at half-staff to honor the Americans killed in that bombing. And President Clinton today also promised to find and punish those responsible. News 2 Houston Nightbeat is next. W. Bush is all set to campaign at You can plan tonight for your day tomorrow with Futurecast 7, only on Storm Warning Weather 7. This powerful forecasting tool pinpoints up to 24 hours in advance. Exact times weather systems will strike the Miami Valley. Futurecast 7 combined with Storm Tracker 7 and the Miami Valley's only live local Doppler radar. New Center 7's team of meteorologists brings you the most accurate and dependable forecast today to help you plan for tomorrow. Future Cast 7, exclusively on New Center 7, weather coverage you can count.
Breaking news, a four-alarm fire erupts at a plant in Redding. We'll have a live report. Friends, family, and police officers from all over the country pay their respects to a fallen comrade. And the family of a boy involved in the officer's death breaks their silence. I'm Jack Atkinson. And I'm Trisha Mackey. We'll have those stories and much more right now. This is Cincinnati's first and only 10 o'clock news. Reason. Kevin Cran brought together two segments of society to worship together here today, and we may never have come together before. The city lays a fallen police officer to rest. We'll have team coverage of this story in just a moment, but first, breaking news. Firefighters are on the scene of a massive blaze at a factory in Reading. 19 News reporter Jonathan Free joins us live. Parts of these veterans this weekend. I'm Amanda Kahn. That story coming up. But first, a grisly discovery at a Dayton park puts neighbors on alert. This is NBC 22 News at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Pompilio. And I'm Michelle Kingsfield. A cloudy day today. Here's Tom Burst with our first forecast. Yeah, still a lot of clouds around the area now, but there are some areas. The weekend forecast for the weather, unfortunately. The tail's coming up. You're watching WHIO-TV, Channel 7, with live, local, late-breaking coverage you can count on. This is News Center 7 at 6. For more than a week, a suspected armed robber eluded police. His run ended today. Good evening, I'm Cheryl McHenry. And I'm Ken Jefferson. Jim has the night off. Deputies arrested the suspect today, but he did not make it easy for them. News Center 7's Paul Herdner has covered the story all along and has the latest live from Harrison Township. Paul? Ken, this story started nine days ago, about a mile or so south down the road on North Main. A dress shop was robbed by two men. Police say they caught the first one. What would make America's number one morning show even better? How about an extra hour? Because time flies when you're having fun. Join Katie, Matt, Al, and Ann for three hours of today, starting October 2nd. It's the spectacle that captivates an entire world, the Olympic Games. Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on NBC, the moment we've been waiting for arrives. The youth of the world, 10,000 strong from all corners of the globe, gather in one of the world's most beautiful cities, Sydney, Australia, for the unmatched pageantry of the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games. Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Eyewitness News 5, now. Good evening, I'm Anne Marie Tiernan. Tonight on Eyewitness News 5 at 11, Coach Bobby Knight talks for the first time about getting fired. The coach has plenty to say about the situation and his future in basketball. Ken Brew will have highlights from the interview, and we'll talk to people who are watching Knight on TV to see what they think. Plus, police say this woman had sex with 14 and 15-year-old boys. Now they worry she's been spreading disease. That story more tonight at 11. Watching your hometown station, WCPO TV Channel 9. Base is over. For presentation at this time. Turn to WDTM Channel 2. News that hits home. With Jack Hicks, Donna Jordan, Chief Meteorologist Carl Nichols, and Sports with Mark Viviano. This is 2 News Tonight. A Dayton shop owner arrested. The FBI has linked him with a notorious terrorist group. Good evening. Who would have ever thought that a tr for granted? Forrest Sawyer, Sheila McVicker, John Hockenberry, oh. Michelle McQueen, Jay Shadler, Lisa McCree, and special correspondent Jeff Greenfield. This is day one. You're watching 12 WKRC TV, a new generation of news. 12 News at 6 starts now. Just an hour and a half left before the Ohio polls close. Steve Shabbat and David Mann are making every minute count. 
here in the Buckeye State. Good evening, everybody. It's been a particularly bitter battle for the first congressional. Harry suddenly leans to the side and then sinks, taking more than 800 lives. A toy gun turns deadly for a New York City child. An unhappy listener is the chief suspect in a radio station fire. And Mother Nature destroys a 400-year-old landmark. Hi, I'm Denise Dory. I'm Randy Little. Cincinnati's 5 o'clock news is next. Good evening. The grim search for survivors of a ferry accident. The latest news on television. Nothing in those days compares to what South Floridians. This is a CBS News special report. The Southern California earthquake. From CBS News headquarters in New York, here are Dan Rather and Connie Chung. Good evening. Tonight, one of the great cities of the world, Los Angeles, picks up the pieces. So that we may bring you the following NBC News special. This is an NBC News special report. The Great Quake of 94. Live coverage of the Los Angeles quake will continue after this from our ABC station. This is ABC. Good afternoon, everyone. We interrupt ABC's coverage of the California earthquake for a brief 12 storm team update. Good afternoon, everybody. This has been a storm tracker Doppler special report. Do you know where your children are? Victims share their ordeals after an armed bandit terrorizes two New Jersey counties. He's armed, dangerous, and wanted. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mario Bosquez. He stalks his victims. everyone I'm Tom McDonald welcome and Ira Joe talks drizzle and fog throughout the area news for New York is next carjacked you're watching WNBC for New York and now Ralph Penza Barry Peltz Ira Joe Fisher and John Frankel this is news for New York at 11 Good evening. For the second time in less than two months, shots are fired about his new movie, Nobody's Fool. Next. From the next. This is Channel 2 News at noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Michelle Marsh. Children in Bushwick, Brooklyn are no strangers to violence. You're watching Rob Brown. Kit Andrews, meteorologist Tim Hedry, Ken Brew with sports, and troubleshooter Howard Ayn on 12 News, a new generation of news. And testing students for drugs. And I'm Trey Wingo, live downtown at Keener Plaza. The Rams are finally set to arrive here in St. Louis. We'll have the story in a live report coming up. And the stockholders of TWA find out if their next landing will be bankruptcy court. It's noon, and you're watching Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis, where the news comes first. With Jennifer Bloom, Art Holliday, and Mary Beth Robel. This is New Channel 5. The Supreme Court has expanded the use of drug testing in public schools. It's 5 p.m. and you're watching Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis, where the news comes first. 
with Kay Quinn, Jeff Fowler, Scott Connell, and Malcolm Briggs. This is News Channel 5. Let the festivities begin. From the air or from the ground, simply a beautiful start to the annual 4th of July extravaganza. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Our top story, the biggest celebration of the year in St. Louis is in full... This is 9 News. Good evening. In just 13 hours, a... Watching Channel 12, WKRC-TV Cincinnati. 12 News at 11 starts now. Kids hanging out on the street. This has been a 12 News special report. I'm real ready. Get ready, Salina. Chopper 7's ready. We're, We're really, really ready. ready. Get ready. Wapakoneta, are you ready? We're, We're ready. ready. Get ready. I'm ready. I'm really ready. Are you ready? Get ready. New Center 7 is ready. Get ready. Hey, wait. I'm not ready yet. Get ready, Television 7. Make a difference. Watch New Center 7 First Edition at 5.30. Ken Jefferson and Cheryl McHenry cover the news that affects you, your family, your job. Ted Bryan keeps you up to date on the weather. John Condon and James Jordan give you your first look at sports. New Center 7 First Edition at 5.30 brings the world home to the Miami Valley like no other 30 minutes can. New Center 7 First Edition at 5.30, beginning September 11th on New Center 7, The Leader. Cincinnati's News 5. News 5 tonight will return in a moment. LWT Channel 5, Cincinnati's 24-hour news channel. This is News 5 with Betsy Roth and Tony Mann's weather. Now, live from Crosley Square, this is News 5. Good afternoon, I'm Betsy Ross, and thank you for joining us on this Wednesday afternoon. Here are some... You're watching 12 WKRC-TV, a new generation of news. Your first look at stories happening now. This is 12 News at 5. Good evening. We begin tonight with the escalating violence between Israelis and Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. Six... Right now, two news brings you total news coverage. This is 2 News at 6. New information tonight. Some Miami Valley residents might find their mailboxes empty today. We'll tell you what happened. An update tonight. Getting your car through the e-check process just got a bit easier. And our top story tonight. The heat and humidity are here again today. Are we doing enough to send away the smog? Good evening and thanks for staying with us. I'm Molly Hughes. And I'm Carl Day. Mark is off tonight. The Miami Valley Ozone Action Day notice has just been extended. Total news coverage. Live with Carl Day. Marsha Bonhart. Total weather with Carl Nichols. And two sports with Mitch Roberts. You're watching two news at 5.30. And thanks for staying with us. Our top story tonight, a Kettering. Right now, two news brings you total news coverage. Live with Mark Allen, Molly Hughes, and Total Weather with Carl Nichols. You're watching 2 News at 5. And hey, welcome back. You know, a lot of people... ...five damaging testimony against two Dayton cops. This mother says her son sold drugs and so did they. A community stand against crime. A night out begins during the day. The story coming up live now at 5 o'clock. You're watching WHIO-TV Channel 7 with live, local, late-breaking coverage you can count on. This is News Center 7 at 5. Good afternoon. A mother testifies her son sold drugs and claims he live. I'm Kelly Hudson. The news starts now on 10TV. From WBMS 10TV, your 24-hour news source. This is 10TV Eyewitness News. It's a highly contagious disease, and some of you may have been exposed to it. As news... 
for news 24 hours a day. From WBNS 10 TV, Central Ohio's most watched news station, this is 10 TV Eyewitness News. And this is it, the 42-page decision from the Florida Supreme Court. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dave Kaler. And I'm Angela Pace. Now, it came down just over an hour ago. And There's only one local newscast at 10 in Columbus. News Center at 10 on Fox 28. It's the only primetime newscast in Central Ohio. News Center at 10 on Fox 28. It's your news one hour earlier. It's your weather one hour earlier. It's your life. It's your choice, seven nights a week. New Center at 10 on Fox 28. It's about time, your time. Now you have the power to choose. New Center at 10, only on Fox. Visit Levi's. From 10 TV Eyewitness News, this is an election 2000 update. And good evening, I'm Angela Pace, along with Dave Kaler. Thank you for... This is New Center. Now, live from WSYX-TV, this is News Center on ABC6. A News Center viewer delivers a dose of holiday cheer. Could not find enough flu. Weekends on 10 TV Eyewitness News. When Roger McCoy sits down at the weekend anchor desk, he knows what's at the heart of news. Because all week long, he's been out talking to the people who make the news. When Laura Main sits down at the weekend anchor desk, she knows which stories matter to you because she's been in the field talking to your neighbors all week long. Melissa Marsh with a first look at next week's forecast. And veteran sports anchor Dom Tiberi with the sports stories you won't find anywhere else. Your best choice for news. Weekends on 10 TV Eyewitness News. Closed caption. You're watching KATU Channel 2 Portland. Now, in the spirit of the Northwest, this is Channel 2 News. A sting. This is the halftime report from Cincinnati's News 5. Good evening, I'm Charlie Luke, and here's a look at tonight's feed, Bill. Rob Braun and Kid Andrews, weeknights at 6 and 11 on 12 News. From ABC, this is World News Sunday. Here's Carol Simpson. Good evening. President Clinton energized. This is News 5 Today, brought to you by Gateway Federal, where lifestyle banking is your gateway to the good things in life. Good morning. It's 8.25 and already 75 degrees on this flight. Mike Oviea and Doug Dunbar. Live from Channel 10, this is Eyewitness News. Tonight, the fight to overturn Miami-Dade County's gay rights ordinance is under intense scrutiny by county elect... Watching Channel 10 Eyewitness News at 5.30 with Doug Dunbar and Kelly Cobiea. Now. Live from NBC4. Kelly Mack, David Cruz, and Christopher Nance AccuWeather. This is the Channel 4 News at 11 a.m. Some possible relief in sight for California's power crunch. There is help on the way. This is 12 at noon, the first coast fastest growing television news with Sally Fox. Richard Rogers and Steve Smith Weather. The news starts now. Good afternoon. We're 12 hours past the deadline and still no war. Still no war. Tonight, live from the 7 Newsplex, beginning first at 5. The heat is on and the roads are closed. Grass fires once again scorch South Florida. Animals back home. Metro Zoo back in business after a weekend blaze. A story sure to give you goosebumps. Folks who made it through the long winter are now feeling the sting of a spring storm. A stunt falls dangerously short. Tensions in the air and the stars are coming out. 7 News takes you live to L.A. for the Oscars. 7 News First at 5 begins now. Live from South Florida's news station, WSVN 7. This is 7 News at 5 o'clock. 
You are looking at live Skycam pictures over South Dade. A field in flames at this hour, threatening roadways and wildlife. Good evening. During the last few weeks, grass fires have scorched and scarred open spaces across South Florida. Let's get those pictures back up again. These are live pictures from the scene. It's a fire spotted this morning. It's destroyed dozens of acres so far. are still burning in South Dade. We are bringing you live Skycam pictures right now. We'll bring you more. 7 News at 5 is coming right back. You're watching 7 News at 5 o'clock with Rick Sanchez and Pam Giganti. 7 News brought you in part by your South Florida Ford dealers for America's best-selling cars and trucks. Don't miss the... And now, 7 Healthcare with Marilyn Mitchell. A nasal spray to help smokers kick the habit. A new test could minimize unnecessary prostate surgery. Flynn Martinez in the 7 News Plex. Some of the stories we're following for you tonight at 5.30. More and more. People in South Florida are waking up to the number one local news. Today in Florida. With Julia Yarbo, John Turchin, and Bill Kamal Weather. For local, national, and international headlines. Weather reports every 15 minutes. Traffic updates every 30 minutes. Plus sports, health headlines, and more. Wake up to South Florida's number one morning news. Today in Florida, weekday starting at 6 a.m., only on 7 News. Live from South Florida's news station, WSBN 7. This is 7 News at 530. Good evening, everyone. That little boy who survived a seaplane crash is going home tonight. He lost his parents, he lost his siblings when that plane went down in the key. you're wishing to send flowers or to send toys to that little boy we talked about, Matthew, you can make donations to Howard Blackburn, a family member. The address is now. Live from South Florida's news station, WSVN 7. This is 7 News at 6 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. Lynn Martinez in for Jessica tonight. The worst brush fire season since 1990, showing no sign of letting up. Live from South Florida's news station, WSVN 7. This is 7 News at 6.30. Good evening. It affects anybody who speaks a second language.